We introduced you to the Adventure Lab with our episode from Grand Rapids, and we showed you how the app works in geocaching and the Adventure Lab. In this episode, we want to take you on an Adventure Lab adventure. Canada's Paris, voted Canada's prettiest little town, is in southwestern Ontario. The town got its name from the product made from locally mined gypsum, plaster of Paris. This adventure will take you to five locations within the little town at the junction of the Grand and Nith rivers. The first stop brought us to the Paris lookout. And from here you can get a gorgeous view overlooking the entire town. We found the bench for the first location. And that's where we're sitting right now. And right behind us is the large letter that you need. We'll input the answer into our phones. And you'll see we'll get a completion for this location. Yay. So location number two brings us to St. James Anglican Church. Yeah, if you check all the detail in these houses around the church, mm -hmm. they're all of cobblestone. And that's what this location talks about, is the cobblestone in the many buildings around. There are two churches and 12 buildings in the area, and most of the buildings that are cobblestone in Canada are within vicinity mm -hmm. of Paris, Ontario. After completing location number two, I noticed this beautiful home and the historical marker behind me, so I came to take a look. It's interesting how doing geocaching and an adventure lab will draw you to even more locations to discover. The property was designated a heritage building by the town of Paris in 1979 for its historic and architectural value. Designed in a classical manner, the house is distinguished by the entrance portico and the attached storage wing with its carriage house. This alignment of structures often employed in the New England states and the Maritimes was rarely used in the province of Ontario. The use of plaster and stucco made this home unique at the time of its creation. And notice the style used in creating the wall around this property is the cobblestone, the same as in the church. This is a really cool spot in Paris. This is a cobblestone common, and it is really neat. It's a beautiful spot. This is where the Nith and the Grand Rivers meet. So on this site, Alexander Graham Bell received the very first long distance phone call. The answer is actually not on the plaque, it's on the water hook up below, so that you're not looking for the answer to the question online. You actually have to come to the location. Next up, across the river. Finishing up this adventure lab, we need information from this plaque about the Grand River. Once we input that, we'll have the entire adventure lab completed and we'll have information for a bonus cache. 
The Grand River is aptly named. Flowing 290 kilometers from the Dundalk Highlands to Lake Erie, its watershed is the largest in southern Ontario. Winding its way through marshes, woods, and Carolinian forests, the river provides the common thread that links the harmonious blend of natural and cultural landscapes. So we inputted all the numbers from the journal entries and now we're off to find the bonus cash. found the bonus cash for the Adventure Lab yes. and it was amazing. Remember to bring a pen for this one. Yeah, you don't need a, a pen for an Adventure Lab, but you do for the bonus cash. And guess we what forgot. we forgot. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give this Adventure Lab five stars out of five. five it was stars. really well done. It, it was. was. It yeah, took it us on a nice tour of the town. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And we're going to give the bonus cash two favorite points. Mm -hmm. We're going to pull those down. We want to thank the CEO, Lauren JT, for putting this Adventure Lab together. She did a great job of highlighting Paris, Canada's prettiest little town. Come and check out this Adventure Lab yourself and Paris. Yeah, keep watching. There's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you? The bonus cache is so awesome, we can't show you. No, you have to come and find it for yourself. Yeah, it was almost a DNF. <laughs>